right. Hey, YouTube, I hope you are having more fun than I am about to have today. Uh, a couple days ago, our well just totally uh, went on the fritz. And so I'm pretty sure it's either the pump or something in the well. Um, basically what happened is maybe three weeks ago, I sat in the kitchen, which is on the other side of this wall, kitchen dining room. And I thought I heard a little humming in the morning. The humming was continuous, just never stopped. And I'm like, what in the world is that? Humming, 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 humming noise. Where is it coming from? It sounded like it was coming in here. And I, think, I couldn't think of what in the world it was on. So I went in here, and the pump was running continuously, trying to make uh, 39 PSI. Couldn't quite make enough pressure to click off. So as kind of a Band-Aid approach, I... I, I went to my box here. This guy right here, and I adjusted it down a little bit, adjusted it to 35 psi, and thought, yeah, well, that'll kind of, you know, fix things for a while. Maybe the pump is getting worn, and we'll fix it. Well, that was good for a couple weeks, three weeks, whatever the time was, and then as of two days ago. The, the bottom just dropped out and I got up in the morning to take a shower and had nothing but a dribble so right now it'll only make uh, 10 psi and uh, the water is you know still flowing but the pump is just running continuously 100% of the time and can't generate anything I went all around checked make sure nobody's running a garden hose or anything and really that shouldn't be a problem anyway never has been so I think we are about set to pull up the well and see what's going on probably one of two things I'm thinking uh, either the pump <clears throat> the pump is going bad or you know there's some kind of a leak down there um, I'm hoping that's what it is anyway one of those two things and regardless of what I find I think I'm going to replace the pump because it's 21 years old and uh, you know is it going to go 30 years probably not I mean why not replace it well we've got it up and going through all the pain so I'll take you along in a little journey let's have some fun oh fun pulling a pump yeah all right, here we go. Okay, that's the pressure I'm getting right now. Everything else is off in the house, getting only 10 PSI. And right here is all I get for water. All right, so I'm going to take off these bolts here They're on the top. <clears throat> loosen them all up and then take them all out I've actually had this off uh, the other day just to check it out what I was getting into and then I went on YouTube like probably some of you are doing and did a little look-see around to see if mine was the same or different or what and how to do it because I've never done this before first time for everything there we are, open it up, and I got this ball of wires in here, let me see if I can grab that out of there. Okay, so we got some wire, and we have a cable. All right, so we got that. So I'm not gonna pull the cable yet, and I'm gonna get me a light and look down here and see what in the world it is I'm looking at. Not sure if you're gonna be able to see that or not, but I can just see the top of the pipe that I have to connect to. So we're gonna see if I can get something there and connect into that pipe. But first, before I do that, I'm gonna go and turn the breaker off for this and that kind of thing.
Okay, so here's my pump control box. Here's a switch. I'm going to kick that off and then go and also kick the breaker off in the garage. Okay, the other thing, I'm going to turn off the water. Alright, so I got kitchen, da, 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 so kitchen, whatever, laundry, lift pump, GFI, well, it's got to be this one. Alright, so I got this, I'm going to try and thread that in down there. Locked in. All right, so I don't really know how heavy this is going to be, um, and I don't know how much luck I'm going to have. But supposedly, I pull on this thing and get ready to pull up on this, and I've got this secured in there. Do my double check with the flashlight. Make sure everything threaded in right. And we'll see. I don't think the pump is real light. So this might be a bear to do by myself. Mm. But at the right wrong spot where I have a hard time lifting on it here. Just I gotta get underneath it and lift. Well this can only fall down to there if it does go down. So mm. oh, okay. There, it loosened up and came out. So we are detached. It moved. You know one thing I should have done before I let this move that I forgot to do. I'm gonna hold that right there. Be surprised what I can do with one hand. Maybe. We've got orange tape here. So I'm just gonna kind of hold this here gingerly. Take apart my orange tape. I should have done this first. Should have done it first. We we're going to put a mark on here. Put a mark right there for the top. There we go. Okay. Mark for the top. And up we come. You want to do this for 70 feet or whatever it is. I don't think it's actually down 70 feet. Okay. All right. So this right here is that mechanism. Let me get you a closer in shot here of what that looks like. That's... This is what the cable was attached to here, okay? That's what this cable was attached to. So I pull up on this, and it kicks it out of the side. And we got our... Got all that right there. And then below here... We got a little PVC pipe. All right, so camera's gonna have to go out of the way here a little bit while I continue pulling this up. Let's see where I come here. All right. Oh man. I think what I'm gonna have to do here. In fact, I know what I'm gonna have to do. So I'm going to have to unhook and set that right there for a second. 
right there on the edge. Um, I'm gonna have to unhook this wire here. Because I'll probably run out of wire when this starts going up. I got it taped on nice and neat here. There we go. There we go. Okay. So there. That's unhooked. Are we still recording? Yep. All right. Continuing onward. Okay. This is where I suppose another person would have really come in handy. You know, it is what it is. Whoa. Unless you're like me, you should really be doing this with two people. That is really disgusting. And to think, this is the water that we drink. Okay, somehow, I gotta get that thing farther away from me. Junk ever. I'm getting stuff all over my table. You can't have that. Let's get that out of the way. I see something coming. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's one of those little deals for keeping everything away from the side. Okay, it's getting lighter. The table's still in the way. Okay, up and come. Upsy daisy. Upsy daisy. Okay, now, right here. Here we get to the well, or the pump, I mean. And we're getting to the pump, right there. So, okay. And there it is. Something about, this is the offending article. Uh, I gotta wash my scrubby hands. Here's a look at the pump. Take a look at that. I don't know exactly what I'm looking at here anyway, so. Uh, this kind of is what it is there. It is what it is. I don't really see any obvious leaks or anything there. Uh, I'm just going to guess that it's the pump itself that's not cooperating with us.